So you've purchased yourself a motorhome and you've decided to pull a vehicle behind it. What vehicle will you choose? Well, if you choose a 4x4 Jeep Wrangler JK, you've come to the right place because Charles and I are about to do a series on converting this Jeep Wrangler into a toad. Ribbit. Ribbit. Not that kind of toad. Caution. This is not meant to be an instructional video. We are not professionals. We are just Jeep owners attempting to modify our own Jeep. We are not responsible for anyone attempting this modification on their own. We are moving! Welcome back to part five, the final video in the series of converting this Jeep Wrangler into a toad. I know, I know, I told you last time it already was a toad. Still is, nothing else needs to be done. But during the installation process, there was three cables that did not get installed. We're gonna show you where these go today. These two here go with the ready stop breakaway. This here goes with the ready brake. Now this is used in conjunction with the Ready Brute Elite tow bar. That tow bar has a built-in surge brake, limited lifetime warranty, and it's built to last. Why do I say that? Well, we have one that's 10 years old. All right, so what do you get in a brand new Ready Brute Elite that you didn't get 10 years ago? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's silver now, the decals are nicer on it. The handles here for the lock releases for the legs are red. And when the leg open, you have a dust cover that goes across it now that's black. This is pretty much it in a nutshell because it's a system that works. There's not much more you could do to it. Simplicity at its best. Now, before we get started, we just want to let you know that we do have a security system for our RV. It's right here. <laughs> Needs a little work. Works good. <laughs> Abby's favorite spot to lay. <laughs> but anyway, the cable that did not have a coating on, this is called the wire loop. This mounts on the frame of the RV as far back as possible. Do not mount it to your tow hitch receiver. So we have ours attached right here. Now when we attach the Jeep to it, we'll show you how this gets hooked into it. All right, now due to the height difference between where the Jeep base plate is and where the hitch comes on the Jayco, we needed a four inch drop. So. These are rated at 10,000 pounds. I believe that the tow bar is rated at 8,000 pounds. The hitch is only rated at 5,000 pounds. So in other words, you can't go over the lowest rating. Don't go any higher. You have an accident, it's your fault. All right, so the tow bar itself is gonna weigh about 40 pounds. It's not overly heavy. Let's line it up. This oval section here with the hole, you gotta get the hole lined up here. Alright, so once it's lined up, you're gonna put the pin through. And you may find it's easier to pull this back and it will slide right through. Take the other end. Alright, so we've pulled up behind the RV. Now we're going to put the Jeep into toad mode. What do I gotta do, babe? Bring the vehicle to a complete stop. Done. <laughs> Press and hold the brake pedal. Shift the automatic transmission into neutral. Turn the engine off. Shift the transfer case lever into neutral. One, two. Start the engine. Shift the transmission into reverse. Release the brake pedal for five seconds one, to ensure one, there is no movement. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,005. Repeat steps seven and eight in drive mode. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,005. Turn the engine off. Firmly apply the parking brake. Shift the transmission into park. Then we can attach the vehicle to the tow vehicle. Cool, let's go get this done. Now, we wanna remove the clips and the pins. Then we wanna unlock the leg extensions by pulling the levers out. Then, try to line it up. And once it's in, you put the pins back in. the clips. Just so you know, Cheryl and I usually do this together. She does one side while I do the other. It's a lot easier. But, okay, those are done. Then you put these back into the lock position. All right, so it's all hooked up. So what do I gotta do now? 
Release the parking brake. That's it? Good to go. All right. As Chuck moves the RV forward, you'll notice that the arms will extend and the locks will pop down. All right, first we're gonna put in the ready brake cable. So, what you're gonna to need to do, is we're gonna to have to take off the clamp here because it's not gonna fit through this little hole. So let's do that first. All right, so taking off the clamp, feeding it through, and I'm gonna clamp it right back up again. And we're putting these on, just put it on loosely because I'm sure we're gonna to have to make an adjustment here. All right, let's adjust this other end now. Okay. This piece is where we'll be doing the adjusting because as you can see, they're not even touching right now. Short. It's a little bit short. <laughs> Your best bet is to have it loose up here, pull the sleeve back, and of course have the clamp undone. Work using just this clamp with it attached to the vehicle. And what you want to do, when you pull up, you want about two inches before the brake lights go on. It's approximately what we have. So then once that's done, you want to tighten these down. I go just till they stop. Then come over here, make sure this stays wrapped around there, slide the sleeve up. And then take the clamp and make sure it's right up against that sleeve so that it can't move. Okay. All right, the way the surge brake works, if you remember before we put the pin in, it was oblong. So what's gonna happen when the RV stops, the force of the Jeep is gonna push it forward and it's gonna continue to slide the length of that oblong. And what happens, that oblong, there's a piston and a spring here. So as this comes in, it pushes on this, which forces this to go up in that way, which is attached to the brake cable, which is attached to the brake. <laughs> and stops the Jeep. And stops the Jeep. Next, we're going to install the tow bar harness sling cable, which, if you remember, is part of the breakaway. So if I stick my hand in here, remember how we tucked it up there? It stays too. I don't even have to put anything there. I've been driving it. <laughs> Then we're gonna put it on to the share plate, lock it in, and we're gonna come along. But I can tell you right now, that's not gonna to go to the loop wire. So we're gonna to have to extend this. So we pretty much had to use all of the cable where we have it attached to the motorhome. Your, your best bet is to probably just measure how much you need from end to end, and then do your adjustment that way. Now we just need to attach it to the tow bar. Right now they say to zip tie it in at least three different places along the tow bar. So we've done it in four. We do keep it rather loose. And the one up front here, I keep wide enough that if I take this off of the drop hitch, I'll be able to fl slip the cable right through there. So just cut off the ends. Keep things tidy. All right, next up, we're gonna put on our safety cables. And keep in mind, if you buy the Ready Brute Elite tow bar, these are included, along with the cable that you need for the brake. So just two things you don't have to buy. All right, I'm gonna put it through the driver's side. Make sure the spring clip comes back up. And then we're gonna put it through the D ring down here. And then what you wanna do is you wanna crisscross them. So I started on the driver's side, but I'm gonna end up on the passenger side. And then you can do, a wrap around once on the leg. And then just make sure it's not gonna get in the way of anything. Then the passenger side, lock it in. Bring it through the D-ring down here. Okay, so then bring it up, over, back around. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there you go. Safety lines are hooked up. They're not interfering with anything. All that's left is the electrical, and we're good to roll. Looking in the electrical, seven way to six way. Lights. Brakes. Flashers. Right blinker. Left blinker.
Cable Part 5 is complete. We showed you how to put the cables on the tow bar. We showed you how to put the tow bar on the RV. We showed you how to put the Wrangler on the other end of the tow bar. And then we drove it. So, <laughs> that's going to close this series on converting that Jeep Wrangler to an RV tow. So, if you liked what you saw, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. And everything that we did to make that a tow is in a description box right under this video. It's, it's right down here, under my feet. <laughs> so, you can go and check that out. But, before I close, I just want to say, we call it an RV towed now. But we have, everyone knows it's a Jeep Wrangler. Do you want to know what a real RV towed is? Check it out.